Coronado, I'm Tina Friend, Coronado City Manager, and this is a weekly update for the week ending February 4th, 2022. A project to install a physical suicide deterrent on the San Diego Coronado Bridge is moving forward. This week, the California Department of Transportation, which manages the bridge, released an initial environmental study for the project. It's available now through March 1st for public review. The environmental document lays out the project's purpose and alternatives being considered, the existing environment that could be affected, potential impacts of each of the alternatives, and the proposed avoidance and mitigation measures. A virtual public meeting will be held via Zoom from 6 to 8 p.m. on Thursday, February 10th. See the weekly update online for more information. The City of Coronado is investigating a video circulating on social media featuring the actions of a department director and allegations of racism. The employee is on administrative leave and relieved of all duties for Coronado, pending the results of the investigation. I understand this has caused pain and the need to move to a swift resolution. As a public agency, we have a responsibility to make decisions based on the full facts, and I ask for your continued patience. The city of Coronado does not tolerate any form of discrimination. We find the allegations extremely serious and they do not reflect our culture and values, which are based in professionalism, service, and respect. The city of Coronado is a welcoming place for all. Last Friday, January 28th, Coronado police dispatchers were notified mid-morning that the department's remotely monitored bicycle was traveling away from the area where it was locked. The dispatcher guided officers to the bike and they spotted a man riding the bicycle on the Bayshore Bikeway near Leyte Road. Officers contacted the subject at the bus stop and placed him under arrest for grand theft, possession of stolen property, vandalism, and possession of drug paraphernalia. The 49-year-old man was booked into San Diego Central Jail. This is the 109th remotely monitored bicycle arrest. Coronado police are asking for the public's help. On Thursday, January 6th, a man was found bleeding in the Tidelands Park parking lot after being struck by a truck. The 32-year-old man was exercising the parking lot at 8.30 p.m. when he was hit by the truck's wheel, then the driver backed over the victim and fled the scene. The victim was transported to the hospital with serious injuries. The vehicle is described as a light gray or silver Ford F-150 with dark tinted windows. Please call 619-522-7350 if you have any information about this incident. Naval Base Coronado has alerted the city that its facilities are participating in the annual force protection exercise, Citadel Shield Solid Curtain. The exercise, which lasts through the week of February 7th, is focused on simulating real world emergency situations. It should be noted the exercise is not related to any current threat. The exercise is expected to cause increased traffic around Naval Base Coronado or delays in entering its facilities. Area residents may also see or hear security activities associated with the exercise. Repair work on the Kays Park softball field backstop has begun. The backstop was badly rusted and degraded. The field is being blocked off for maintenance during the repairs. However, all other public areas are open and available for use. A presentation at the Coronado Public Library on how service dogs help people is set for 3.30 p.m. on Monday, February 7th at the Library Park. The one-hour presentation is geared toward elementary school-aged children, but all are welcome. The meet and greet with dogs from Positive Teams requires a waiver signed by parents for kids to meet the dogs. Call the library at 619-522-7390 for details. And Suki is this week's Pet of the Week. Come here, Suki. Good girl. Oh, I know I love you, too. Hi, my name is Erin and I'm a volunteer here at the Coronado Animal Care Facility with Paws of Coronado. This week, our pet of the week is Suki, a nine-year-old Samoyed mix who weighs 70 pounds. Suki is a sweet, friendly, and loving girl who is looking for someone to spend her golden years with. She still enjoys going for walks and she makes friends with every person she meets. That is her particular gift. She is just so, so sweet. She really enjoys butt scratches. If you give her a butt scratch, she's your friend for life. Her chill and easygoing personality means that she will settle in well to just about any home as long as you're prepared to give her plenty of cuddles. As with all of our animals, Suki is spayed and microchipped. She's up to date on her vaccinations and she's had a flea preventative applied. She's available for an adoption fee of $65. Please be aware that the Coronado Animal Care Facility is open by appointment only. 
If you're interested in adopting Suki or any of our animals, you can visit us online at pawsofcoronado.org to fill out an application and our adoption coordinator will get back to you regarding the next step. To find out more about Suki, call Paws of Coronado, which runs the city's animal care facility, at 619-522-7371. For more information on these events and all the city's news, check out the City Manager's Weekly Update online.